Hi there, welcome back. Today I will show you how to create a Fusion 3D macro template and use it to apply 3D effects to any text titles or image logos directly in the edit page. Here are some examples I created with this 3D effect template. It's simple to use and flexible to change the 3D styles. It has multiple 3D materials built in that we can choose from. With just one click, we can turn a 2D image logo into 3D. Using the emboss style, we can get some nice title and logo effects. Alright, let's first take a quick look at what we can do with this 3D effect. Here I have a text title and a logo on the timeline. From the effects panel, drag and apply the essential 3D effect to the text clip. Immediately it turned into a 3D look. Go to the effects tab in the inspector. There are two groups of parameters we can use to adjust the 3D styles. The first set of parameters here are basic settings for the 3D look. 3D effect controls the overall 3D style. Lower the chisel effect to apply some chiseled effect on the text. 3D scale is to control how strong the 3D transforms are. And 3D bias is to offset the transformation, most of the time we don't need to change that. The brightness is used to adjust the brightness of the object. For example, the bottom of this title is too dark. Increase to about 032 and now the bottom of the title becomes visible. If the 3D result is rough, not as smooth as we are expecting, we can increase the 3D quality to fix it. But that will require more time to render. I will show that later when that happens. By default, the 3D result will use the initial color of the object as the surface material. I have included some 3D materials in this drop-down list that we can choose for the 3D result. For example, different wood textures, a few stone effects, and a spotted white metal. Let's use quartz stone for the demo. If we check the emboss option, it will raise the title and create an emboss text effect. Great, this looks cool. But I feel it is a bit fuzzy, not sharp enough. In this case, we can reduce the 3D effect parameter. For example, set it to 2. Now it's better. If we lower the chisel effect, we can get a chisel title effect. We can use the diffuse color and specular color settings here to add some color tones to our image. For example, we can give the scene a bit of a pink look. Or darken the specular color to remove the shine at the top of the image. This emboss option here is actually a three states option. Click the option again. It turns into a box with a square white dot. And the surface used for the embossing effect is now just using the diffuse and specular colors defined here. The other tab for this effect is used to set the emboss material to cool metal. Check the enable option, the 3D material will be replaced by the cool metal. We can adjust the parameters here to change the cool metal look for our 3D image. For example, the four parameters at the top allow us to control how the channels defined previously will work with the cool metal material. Keep is to keep the channel data from before. Replace is to use the data from the new material, which is cool metal. Blend and multiply is to combine data from both materials. If we set the red mode to keep, the red channel data from earlier are kept and the result looks really pinky. Go back to the first tab, turn off the embos option, and we got a pretty cool result. Here you might have noticed that the inner edge of the letter C and O are a little rough. As mentioned earlier, we can increase the 3D quality to solve this issue. 
Let's change the quality to 800. It's getting better, but still not very smooth. We can also increase the 3D effect to smooth it further. For example, set the effect to 4. This looks good now. All right, we've demonstrated some uses of the effect on a text title. Next we will check its use on the image logo clip. Similarly drag the 3D effect from the effects panel to the logo clip. It's a bit too dark, so we increase the brightness a bit. Since it's a logo, we want to keep the original color. But we can turn on the emboss option to have some different looks. This is too bright. We can darken both diffuse and specular color to get something balanced. I think this is good now. But the logo is raised a bit too much. Change the 3D effect to 3, now it looks good to me. Again, the circle doesn't look smooth. Change the 3D quality to 800. Perfect, in just a few clicks, we turned a 2D image logo into 3D. Okay, these are the basic usage of the 3D effect in the edit page. If you are comfortable with Fusion tools, you can always click this icon in the effects tab to open the effect composition in the Fusion page and make changes or adjust more advanced settings there. You can download the template through the links inside the description below and try it out yourself. Next, I will go through the key points of making this template in the Fusion page. And after that I will demonstrate how to create the 3D number plate like we see at the beginning. Add a Fusion composition to the timeline and open in the Fusion page. From the toolbar, Add a text node, image plane 3D node, merge 3D node, and a render 3D node to the editor. String them together and connect to the mediate out node. We now have a basic 3D scene composition in place. Enter 3D as the text. Change the size to 0.5. Tracking to 1.2. Select the render 3D node. Check the Lighting and Shadows options. Select Merge 3D node, click the Spotlight in the toolbar to add a spotlight to the scene. Drag the Merge 3D node into the left viewer. Select Merge 3D node, go to the Transform tab in the Inspector, change the scale to 2.946. Select the Spotlight node, and go to the Transform tab in the Inspector. Enable the Use Target option, so it is easy to adjust the light position. In the 3D viewer, pull the spotlight back to light up the text. Select the Image Plane 3D node, press Ctrl Space or Shift Space to open the Tool Selection window. Find and add a Displace 3D node to the pipeline. Drag a Blur node from the toolbar into the editor. Branch out the text output and connect to the Blur node. Connect the Blur node to the Displace 3D node. Select the Displace 3D node and go to the Inspector. Change the scale to 0.01. Select the Blur node. Change the Blur size to 5. Select the Image Plane 3D node. Change the subdivisions to 500. This is great. We now transformed a 2D text into a 3D world. The key nodes for the 3D effect template are the Blur node and Displace 3D. The blur size in the blur node is the parameter I call 3D effect in the template. And the scale and bias in the displace 3D node are also exported as template parameters.
I will not go into every single detail of creating this template today, you can open the macro template in the Fusion page and find the tools and techniques I use there. Please leave a comment and let me know if you are still interested in a detailed tutorial. There is one more thing I want to show is how we can use the effect in the Fusion page and create the 3D number plate we see in the preview at the beginning. Add another Fusion composition to the timeline. Go to the Fusion page. Add a text node to the editor. Add the logo and merge with the text node. Connect the merge node to media out. Set text to ABC888. Resize the logo and text so they match each other. Position the logo in the middle. Add a background node and a rectangle mask. Merge the background output with the merge node. Change the background color to white. Select rectangle node and uncheck the solid option. Adjust the border width so it looks like this. Go to the effects panel, open the templates, edit and effects section. Drag the essential 3D effect to the node editor. Insert it between the Merge 2 and the Media Out node. Right away, the text, logo and line are turned into 3D. Let's change the text color to blue. Select the 3D Effect Group node. And in the Inspector, enable the Emboss option. That's it, we now have a cool looking 3D license plate. We may reduce the 3D effect to 3, 3D scale to 0.005, so the letters are not raised up too much. OK, this looks good. We can now continue to add a mask to hide the outside area. And also set plate corners to round. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.